Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. You know, one of my favorite states has got to be the great state of Michigan. After all, it is the Great Lakes state. <clears throat> but, anyways, when we think of Michigan, uh, many times we don't think of it as a very um, interesting place for the average geologist. For example, if you're in the United States, um, much more interesting to you would most likely be, I don't know, the San Andreas Fault in California, or big one, the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Um, but Michigan, you know, it's different in that it's just sort of in the middle of the Midwest. Um, you're not going to see beautiful cliff sides with all the nice exposed strata in most places. Um, but when I did my last video on domes and basins, I thought, I remembered, oh yeah, Michigan actually is, or the lower peninsula of it actually is, basically one big basin. Now, if you're not familiar with the geography of the United States, then Michigan's divided into two peninsulas, right? And the lower one, uh, we remember it because it just looks like a mitten, right? If you just hold your hand and you know, it's got the thumb there, rest of the hand there, it looks like a mitten. Um, so the lower peninsula here is a very memorable one. And what's interesting about it is, as I said, it's basically situated on a basin. Um, and my drawing here is not perfect. Um, I sketched this up relatively quickly. I'll put in a, an actual image of a geological map uh, at the end of this video just so you can see what it really looks like. But this is just giving a good general idea. Sort of in the heart of the mitten here, uh, we've got this little blotch shaped thing. It's not perfectly circular, um, much like uh, on the actual map it isn't. But it's sort of this irregular shape and I've shaded it red here to represent rock that was taken from the Jurassic period. That's where the strata in this region is from. Um, and obviously this was eroded um, such that it is exposed. Um, and we can confirm this just from the map that this is a basin and not a dome because as we go further out with this ring, well, we see that this is now in the Pennsylvanian, which does in fact come after, or excuse me, before the Jurassic period confirming that this is in fact a basin in which you have the youngest in the center and not a dome in which you have the oldest in the center. Oh, and for those of you not living who aren't familiar with this, um, in the United States we break up the Carboniferous into two sort of sub-periods. We still call them periods. Um, we just break it up. Uh, but the Carboniferous is broken up into the Pennsylvanian and the Mississippian uh, periods which are both named after two states we have here in the United States, Mississippi and Pennsylvania. Just good to know. Um, most of the rest of the world, I'm pretty sure, just refers to it as the Carboniferous period. But we like to do things slightly differently here. So we go from the Jurassic to the Pennsylvanian, and then from the Pennsylvanian out to the Mississippian, which, though they're both in the Carboniferous period, the Mississippian does come before it. So we see the gradual progression where we get older and older away from the center. And then finally, all the rest here, uh, I didn't have another color. I used all my, my colored markers of red, blue, and green. Um, but all the rest out here, that's just Devonian uh, strata that goes all the way back to the Devonian period. And that's basically at the outskirts of the state. Um, and yeah, that's the Michigan Basin. As you can see, it is, it is quite circular, um, which puts really puts into perspective, I think, just just how um, interesting it is, the shape of these, that even though many times we oversimplify things by making them look perfectly circular, they really do take a very, um, a very uniform circular shape here. Also, I think it puts into scale um, just how big some of these, or just how large um, or over large uh, areas these geologic processes can occur, because I think many times we think of domes and basins as something you can just look at, right? Like you would picture it as just one area of elevated, um, elevated ground, which you can you can see, right? Um, and then maybe you can walk up it and walk down it in ten minutes' time. I don't know. Meanwhile, what this shows is that we can actually have very, very huge basins. I mean, you could be just living, just Joe Schmo living right there. Um, just on some Pennsylvanian strata, and you would have no idea, you know, maybe the ground as you go this way declines slightly, but you would have no idea that you're living on what is actually a part of a huge basin, which really does put into scale just how large, um, large scale out of these geologic 
processes are. Especially with folding, I think we um, usually interpret it as smaller. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen like strata where you're just looking at it and you can like see the the anticline or the syncline like right on, like right on it. You just see like strata dipping like that. And you say, okay, yeah, I can see that. It's something I can imagine. It's something um, not small, by no means small, but um, manageable for the mind or manageable for a human to picture in one place. But in reality, even folding takes place over huge areas. Um, and that's just what I wanted to talk about. Uh, just a bit of an offshoot from my last video on domes and basins. I like Michigan a lot, so I thought this would be a good thing to talk about. It's probably not going in the basics of geology series, just because this isn't any by any means um, basic or essential knowledge to any geologist, but it's just good to know. So hopefully that was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao. Here, on this face, and it looks pretty much identical. Meanwhile, with a plunging anticline, you would see these just sort of level off. Uh, right? It would be no, since the pressure was mostly being applied in these direct in this direction, um, we wouldn't see this side folded as well. However, under these circumstances, it appears that.